It's round two, and our experts are going to have seven questions to choose from, ranging in difficulty from one to seven. But that $7 question is going to be really hard. So each expert will answer two questions apiece. They can either pass or play. But if they push their question to another expert and that expert gets it right, they get the money. And we do have one scoring change to make. The first time in the history of the experts, somebody in the break has doubled their score. Uh, uh, Kamani, we're going to give you credit in the very first round. You said in the original Metroid, the planet that was home to the space pirates was a space pirate home world. In fact, we're going to give you credit for that. So you go to two points. We start now with you, Kamani, as you have the lowest score still. Let's see what number you come up with on your screen. Five. So you have a $5 question. You can either keep it and answer it or pass it to one of your opponents. I'll keep it. During development of what Metroid game did Retro Studios seek advice from the producers of The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, because both games use a similar story element? How are you guys doing? Pretty good? OK. Uh, similar story element. I'm going to go ahead and say Metroid Prime. Can I have a little more specificity? The first Metroid Prime. It's Metroid Prime 2. Oh, it goes. I'm sorry. Oh, devastating. We move now to you, Mary Beth. One. one. Now you can answer that. That would be your easiest, or you could pass it to one of your opponents. Uh, I will pass the one to Trevor. Trevor. So Trevor answers his number one question here. There's and that question, Trevor, what player cut his hair because his son confused him on television with one of his teammates? Ronaldo? That's correct. You get one point. And you have one question left to answer in this round. Number three, do you want to keep that question or do you want to pass it along to one of your uh, opponents? I'm going to pass that to Mary Beth. Mary Beth, what song did Elliot Yeaman sing as a featured solo during the Burt Backrack tribute on the season five finale? Oh boy, <laughs> the Burt Becker tribute. I do not know, I have no clue. You do not. If I said a house is not a home, you'd say you learned something about I Burt Becker today. today. Okay, yeah. so that's your three point question. <laughs> we move back to you now, Kamani. Your six point question here. What secret code name can you enter into Metroid to play Samus in her, just her leotard? Oh goodness. Um, um, what are your guys' best guesses? <laughs> Leotard. No, I would think it would be, uh, I want to say Virginia. It's Justin Bailey. Mary Beth, we move to you. Let's see what number you swipe. If you've gotten your seven point question here, your hardest question, do you want to answer it or pass sure, it? Sure, why not? I'll take the seven. Okay, for seven points, what was the name of the band season four contestant Constantine Maroulis left when he became a contestant on the show? Oh boy, um, he was in a band, wasn't he? I can picture him. <laughs> can you guys even picture him, Trevor? Can you picture I, I, Constantine? I, I, I yeah, I can him. totally picture him, and it has a really stupid name. And all right. No, I've I've you no don't. The, it's the, the name of the band was Pray for the Soul of Betty. That was pretty stupid. So Trevor, we move now to you. Let's see what number you swipe. Question number four: What one named player competed in the most World Cup games? Cafu? That is correct for four points. 